Captain Joe giving his work. wings up to Kyle. Or Kai. 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 Excuse me. I hope this Pinning time. his wings on Kai, which is his first flight ever. Yep. And the captain's last flight ever. Wow. That's right. And you get the real wings. The real wings. The real wings. These are the captain's wings. It takes 35 years to get those, and you got them in one day. One day. <laughs> Thank you. That is so cool. Oh, man. Those wow. are the wings. wings. Thumbs up, guy. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. High five. High five. High five. All right. Ooh, Electrostatic spraying is a critical cleaning method, keeping you safe in the air. It may sound complex, but how it works is simple. I'm Tammy Spence. Come join me as we break it down in this American Minute. Remember that romantic saying, opposites attract? Electrostatic spraying works that way too. The spray has an electric charge that binds to negative surfaces, like seats, tray tables, and armrests. All those places that people touch. At American, our electrostatic spraying solution is approved by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to help fight the spread of the novel coronavirus. When sprayed with this tool, the solution breaks down and kills viruses, including coronavirus like SARS, cov 2 this method is a great supplement to our enhanced cleaning that we're doing before every flight and an even deeper overnight cleaning to help keep you protected. It's all part of our clean commitment to help keep you safe and confident about reconnecting with people and places that matter most. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about electrostatic spraying. Nearly 13,000 American Airlines employees are at risk of furlough starting April 1st, when the U.S. aid package for airline workers is set to expire. The airline blames a travel slump on slow vaccine rollouts and new international COVID-19 restrictions. In a company-wide memo, CEO Doug Parker and President Robert Isom told employees, we are nearly five weeks in 2021, and unfortunately, we find ourselves in a situation similar to much of 2020. Furlough warnings went to over 1,800 pilots and 4,000 flight attendants. 19,000 American Airlines workers were already furloughed when the first federal payout of the global health crisis expired in October. They were recalled in December when the latest $15 billion aid package was passed, enough to pay their incomes through March. But as the April deadline approaches, aviation unions are pushing for another $15 billion to protect jobs through the summer. United Airlines is also sending a fresh round of furlough warnings to 14,000 employees, as they're required by law to inform employees who might lose their jobs within 60 days. Meanwhile, Delta and Southwest have mostly avoided layoffs through voluntary leave programs. Shares in American Airlines surged more than 30 percent in opening trading Thursday after the carrier was mentioned on Reddit's Wall Street Bets forum and it posted a slimmer-than-expected quarterly loss. American stock has joined the ranks of GameStop, BlackBerry and AMC, whose shares have seen dramatic jumps as retail investors have piled into heavily shorted stocks igniting a battle between small-time traders and major Wall Street institutions that has shaken U.S. and European stock markets. American Airlines was named on Reddit's Wall Street Bets thread Thursday. That's the forum where chats among bullish individual traders have fueled rallies, pitting them against professional traders who bet that those shares will drop. American is the most heavily shorted airline stock, according to data from research firm S3. The exaggerated price moves of shorted stocks are drawing more calls for regulatory scrutiny. Gerber Kawasaki Chief Operating Officer Danilo Kawasaki. You know, I'm not a big fan of short sellers, but you know they go out, they do their research, and then they get taken out by a gang of you know retail investors uh, trying to make a quick buck. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I think regulators need to step in. 
Shares of U.S. airlines have gained ground since November, but have come under renewed pressure earlier this week. The pack of retail traders, some of them former bankers working for themselves, has become an increasingly powerful force. UBS data shows they accounted for a fifth of equity orders last year.